Uganda, what about? I am Rosie Modena, actress, producer, talent manager, and you are watching Goldies on WBS with my main man, Charles. Welcome back to Goldies here, sitting down with a musical genius, a singer and a producer, a man who's changed the game to what it is here today, Dr. T. He keeps checking on the, the wife is somewhere behind there and whenever we go for a break or a musical, he goes back and forth to check on the wife. Before we jump into uh, your love life and, and the marriage, you'll tell us a little bit of that. There are always rumors online and you know, we read them in the papers and then there was this rumor that you were going out uh, with Betty in Pologoma and there was also another rumor, but let's first start with that one. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, you, you, you gave it the right name, like rumors. Okay, rumors don't work for me right now because I am married. Okay. Uh, that, that is, is so you've never question. dated Betty Impolomo? Well, what's your problem? I am married. You've never... <laughs> the, the wife is what? right behind me, so he has to be a nice guy. Uh, no, 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 I'm not like that, but yeah. I am married now. Okay. Okay, um, the life, um, my life, long time ago, it's another life. So I'm living the new life okay. of a married man. All right, let's talk about <laughs> this uh, married man here, Dr. T. Yeah. How long have you known your wife? Uh, we've been together for eight years. Okay, and how long we, have you been married? Uh, we, 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 uh, we, we, uh, we waited last year, uh, this year in January. 2014? Uh, yes. Okay, in January yes, 2014. In January 18. Okay. Yes. Um, before we go to the big I've been married for... for but it's not is seven it? months. Is <laughs> <laughs> this is your first uh, marriage. You've never been married yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. This that's, is the first time you're officially doing first. it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel to be married? Very good. Really? Very good. Yeah. You okay. feel like uh, you, uh, like when you build a house and you don't have a fence. Now you feel like you are inside the fence. Okay. And it feels like you, you met in Uganda or in? We Uganda? met in England, eight years ago. You had gone to perform and she saw yes, you on stage I, performing I and, in and she was like, yeah man, that's, yes, that's my I future husband. Yes, I live in I, that's where I live. Okay. I, I, so you... you so 10 years she, she saw you performing on stage and it was yeah, love at first. Yeah, we met there when I had a concert in England. Okay. And then we met and then... Da, 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 da. Before we go for the hot seat, let's get your next song. And then we'll play the game that we call the hot seat before we say goodbye here on Goldies. What will be your next song? Okay, uh, uh, if, I, if, I, if I start uh, mentioning other songs and stuff like that, I've worked with many artists, almost every artist we've worked together, and I've written songs to many. And before the chameleons and the, the staff, the, the Juliana, the who, we were there. So uh, I was there, I was already in the game. So, but I love all the artists in Uganda. I love them and they are very good. They, they are the reason why I'm still standing today. They are the reason why you are interviewing, why I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the people, yeah. addressing people, and mm -hmm. sharing my life. So I love you all the artists. I love you so much. And you are the reason why my children uh, at school and okay. music industry, I thank you so much. So the, the next song I think is gonna be, uh, this song, I love it so much. It was one of my songs that I did. Uh, when I started singing. Are you dedicating it to your wife? Yes. Um, no, I'm dedicating this song to the entire world, not even Uganda. This song is called, I've done the, uh, the, another version in the Greek language. Uh, it, 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 the song is called Guanyamba, but in the Greek they say Isesi. 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 All this, um, you know, we, before we say goodbye, we like to play a little game here with our guest and we call it the gold is hot seat, also known as the confession seat. If a movie was being produced about your life, what title would it be and why? Okay. I think I can call it the power of gold. You've made a lot of money over the years. So to say, name something stupid you've spent your money on. When you look back, you'll be like, "Oh my God, that was so irresponsible." Okay, so something that I spent money on. Yes. Something stupid. Okay. I, I I used to love playing pool, like pool, pool table. I used to go. I, I those days, 
I used to go in clubs. Yes, so a yeah. long time ago. I, they didn't have but, and, and bars like we used to have a, a, a bar called TLC. I used to go there and spend money. I, I used not to uh, to do uh, like um, uh, gambling, no. But I used to go there and stay there and play pool all the time. I think I was lonely, but I don't do it anymore. <laughs> I spend a lot of money there. Name one thing that people don't know about you, and if they find out, they'll be like, really? Okay, like, like bad thing or good thing? <laughs> okay, this is something they don't know about me. I love kids. I love children. I love children. You like hanging around, I, lo around. I love children. Uh, children, uh, if you're watching, I love you so much. I love children. Oh my life. It's been like that. Okay. Yeah, I love hanging around children. <laughs> What's the craziest thing, the craziest thing you've seen a fan do? Okay, it was one concert in, in, in those areas of Masaka. I was singing, uh, listen to me, I was singing and this guy came and knelt down and started crying. By, and he, what song were you singing? It depends what you were singing. Now that song, Guanyamba. And then he held my legs like this and started crying and crying. Uh, best memory in music, what's that? Your best memory in music? Um, uh, it was when uh, I came back from Sweden after studying studio engineering and then I found this in music industry so taken over by the Western music, the, the South African music, the Congolese and stuff like that. And then I said to myself, I'm going to fight with these people until our people appreciate our music in our own language. And then uh, during those days, uh, uh, we used, they, they used to put up these concerts, big concerts, like in Nachevobo, mm -hmm. they, they used to invite... Uh, uh, the Chitobe, the Chitobe. Yeah, they used to invite those international so that we can have a, a, a huge number. And I said, in five years, I want to see Nachevobo full of people but without any foreign artist, and it happened in five years. You are a family man, a married man, a father and all that. Name a household chore or a household work. What household work do you do that we would be surprised to know? Oh, uh, I, I, I really love cooking. You cook? I cook for my wife sometimes. What kind of food do you cook for her? Rice. <laughs> and boiled eggs? <laughs> Come on, I, I took a baby sometimes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. All right. Picture this. You are on Lake Victoria. Okay. Yes? I'm imagining. It. Yeah, Lake I'm Victoria. Like, yeah. You have a small canoe or a boat. Oh, yeah. And you can only save one person. Yeah. Rescue or save one person. Yeah. On the other side, you see Betty Impologoma. What is your problem? <laughs> on the other side, you see Juliana Kanyomozi. You can only save one person. Uh, no, no, no. At least I choose one, but I can't say it. Out of all the celebrities in Uganda, who have you met that you found out is the complete opposite of what you expected? He's called Katol Bwama. Uh, he's, he's a good guy. He's, he's a good guy. When you see him on TV or acting, you don't believe he's, he's, he's a real guy. He's, he's, he's doing things so right so that you can't even imagine that. What celebrity would we be surprised to hear that you dated, kissed, or had a relationship with? None. What? You won't be surprised because there's none. You've never dated or kissed any celebrity in Uganda? Do you know any? No. All right, most embarrassing moment as we're wrapping up here. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, that's, that's when you go on stage and then uh, your zip is down. That, that's, <laughs> that's the most embarrassing moment. When, when everybody's watching your business singing and your zip is down. And when and where did that happen? I, 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 okay. I, five years ago, I think. In Uganda? 
Yes, my name is Abu. You've been jumping and doing all that thing and your zip was done. But I always have uh, okay. put on pants and stuff like that. But that's a very, very <laughs> you see, I got you now. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Dr. T. Thank you. Much love and respect and wish you all the best with the music and family. We saw uh, you have uh, a baby on the way, so we wish you yes, all sir. the best. Uh, there's a baby on the way. Uh, we're waiting for the invite and the phone call when that happens. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's Thank our you. time for today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Much love to the crew, uh, Fred Lutakome and everyone. And on behalf of all of us here at WBS TV, thank you for watching and join us again. And until then, stay tuned to WBS. <laughs>